Hi guys, I'm here because I'm finishing up testing out my lash gel to do on a wash and go. I already moisturized my hair with my favorite moisturizer and I sealed it with coconut oil. Um, I already did my part that I want my hair to kind of lay. Um, the gels that I've used so far with my wash and goes, my number one favorite gel so far is from As I Am, um, the curling jelly. I try to wash and go with the Shea Moisture um, Curl with Fancy Smoothie. And now I'm going to use the olive oil Acre Style of Gel. I usually just use this on my edges, but I'm going to try to see what it does with the wash and go. My hair is not dripping wet. I just got the shower, put my moisturizer and oil in, and um, briefly um, finger detangled. And now I'm going to start. I'm going to, since it's not totally dripping wet, I'm going to have to wet it a little bit. So I have a, a mixture of coconut oil and water. So I'm going to start on this side. And the Eagle Styler olive oil gel has a maximum hold of 10. And the thing I am worried about is because my hair is so fine and thin that it's going to be very defined and um, very defined and very, very well way down, but let's try and see what happens. So starting on this side, get a chuck, get about this much of gel, and I do suffer from being heavy handed, so. And as you see, it has a little white residue, and it kind of weighed my hair down. But I'm sure my curls will pop once they get a chance to. Okay, so that section's done. Let's move to the next section. Again, I really don't do like very neat parts, I just grab a chunk and go with it. Okay. This time I use a little bit less Eagle Styler gel. Hopefully my shrinkage will come back. Because <laughs> I don't want my hair to be that stretched out. Or as people call it, ramen noodle looking. Yeah, so I don't know if I like it, but I'm not jumping in the shower to do it over again. <laughs> To this side, let me wet it. Kind of just like my hair, just without any gel in it. Okay. I'm sure, there's a method to my madness, but I'm just going with it right now. And with the seasons changing, my hair is like shedding like crazy. So I need to, if you have any suggestions on how to control shedding, please share it with me in the comments because I need to get it under control. Because I'm getting tired of just running my fingers through my hair and I see strands coming out 
even after I detangle. So yeah, any suggestions on how to help shedding, especially when the seasons are changing from summer to fall, please let me know. Okay. And this last part right here. Lip is not good either. I honestly just feel like I'm putting glue in my hair. I'm hoping this white residue leaves as soon as my hair dries. I don't use the um, diffuser or anything like that. I just let my hair air dry. And it takes about an hour or so, usually with the gels I'm used to doing, wash and goes. So we'll see how long it takes. And finally, my hair on this side is kind of separating a little bit. Okay. Just getting the shed hair off my fingers. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, look at all that stuff. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not leaving the house for a couple of hours before I have to leave. But, um, I'll just going to do my baby hairs and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take for my hair to dry, but I'll definitely come back on the camera and let you guys know. But my initial thoughts on using Ankle Styler Gel for a gel for a wash and go on my hair that's thin and fine is just not a good idea. I'm, I have a lot of wet, um, I'm sorry, not wet, duh, um, white residue and I'm hoping that it dries, um, it leaves as it dries. But um, I can already tell that my hair is extremely weighed down because um, my curls is actually hanging really, really low. And it's like the gel is preventing uh, my normal hair shrinkage, which I kind of really do like my hair to be fuller when I have a wash and go. But uh, I will come back after it dries to show you guys what it looks like. But my initial thoughts will be usually my gut feeling tells me how I usually will feel about product even after the fact. But my initial gut feeling is that this is going to stay at edge gel and I'm not going to use it ever again for my wash and go. But I just want to come and share and I will be back. Bye!